So uh, what's the what's the Detroit music scene like? You know, you know, I'm I haven't been there for so for for a bit, so I'm I'm a little out of touch with it. I think it, it's in general like all over the place because we have like there's there's so many influences in Detroit. You know, like there's Slum Village, mm-hmm. JD JD Dilla, um, then like Danny Brown, yeah, amazing hip hop. Then there's like techno. Like all the like Detroit techno artists that you know that that like pioneered. A yeah, bit. I feel like techno and house is probably pretty big because it's like Chicago area and all that kind of mixing between the two. Yeah, Chicago and Detroit, I think, always like argue over who who started the electric. Started it. Yeah. Um, but then there's also like what I call shit rock, like the MC5, um, which is kind of like punky, rocky bands. Uh-huh. Like the White Stripes kind of like started in that. Main okay, in more pop, um, yeah, and Kid Rock is his own thing. Uh, Eminem's kind of its own thing, kind of his own thing too. Like, uh, he's pretty reclusive. See, so never there's never any M sightings through the scene in, in Detroit. Yeah, like so, like I said, he he has a studio um, in Ferndale, which is where Dan lives, and. Um, but you know he's got like a private entrance and like a you know fenced in parking lot so like i don't think people really see him but my friends used to have to get him um like when he was uh when he was trying to get come off of like uh opioids my friends had to like get him uh quarts of ben and jerry's all the time like he was like, <laughs> you know, got ice cream i mean i can imagine for him it'd probably be really hard to even be like living around there just because how big he became you know so like it's i would i'd probably be pretty reclusive too because he's like at, at a whole other level that i don't think anybody can really imagine how big he was at one point you know well yeah there's another artist from detroit i always get i think it's i think it's trick daddy yeah uh or tricky trick, like, trick. it's trick trick trick, 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 yeah. 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 trick daddy's yeah. from my um, yeah the trick trick um Apparently, like recently, even um, like showed up at like a video shoot with Eminem and Royce the Five Nine, and like with like weapons and, and shot some shot some shots in the sky. So like apparently, like this is still a thing. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, the Detroit hip hop scene has always been pretty uh, like well known for that like aggressive kind of culture. And then Danny Brown's not like that at all. Like. Yeah, Dan uh, Brown's kind of a, he's an outlier. He's like, I, I, like his him, own thing. I met him a bunch of times and we even played a show with him. Um, and then like I saw him last year at Eric Andre's birthday party and he, he didn't remember. <laughs> he had no idea who I was. I was like, told my girlfriend, I was like, oh no, I know this guy. We'll say hi. And he was like, I don't know you. <laughs> <laughs> Danny Brown is like, he's a great performer. Like. But he he's wasted up on stage, though. So he'd be getting lit. Danny Brown parties when he performs. <laughs> yeah, I think that was probably the case uh, that night because he, he had performed. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't know. You know, I mean, he also seemed to be talking to, like, a woman. You know, I, I know how that is. I don't really get yeah. That. 